They're big. They're powerful. They're trucks. Find out everything about how trucks really work. So what do you say we check it out? Learn how a bulldozer rips down huge buildings. Look out as a monster truck smashes a car. And watch a parachute stop the fastest dragster. Get behind the wheel to find out what it takes to do the job when a fire truck races out on a call. The mail gets delivered around the world and a train travels across the country. All aboard! If it moves, you'll see it. From working trucks to monster trucks. I love this stuff. Bring home all your favorite Real Wheels videos and be sure to look for these new titles available now only on video. set to find out because there goes a rescue vehicle. Rescue vehicles come in all shapes and sizes. It's exciting work, but we all know that rescues are very serious business and rescue workers are highly trained professionals. I'm paramedic Dave. And I'm paramedic Becky, but we're not the real paramedics. No, but the real paramedics have agreed to let us pretend for the day so that we can all learn about rescue vehicles and the men and women who operate them. And this is our buddy, Buddy. Buddy the <laughs> rescue dog. He's going to help us out today. We have an emergency at 224 Mountain View Terrace. Respond immediately. Hey, I think that's our alarm. Is that our alarm? Yes. Okay, I'll tell you what. You man the equipment in the back of the vehicle. And buddy, buddy, you can be the co-pilot. Okay, okay, okay. Good okay. doggy. <laughs> and I'll drive. Let's Come go. Come on, kids, let's go. Buddy, all ready to go? Unit 69. Respond immediately. Rescue, Rescue unit, unit 69. That is us. us. <laughs> okay, buddy, here we go. Turn the radio on. Paramedics Dave and Becky and Buddy the Rescue Dog to base. Uh, can we have a location, please? Affirmative. We have an emergency at 224 Mountain View Terrace. Respond immediately. Wait a minute, let me get the back. 224 Mountain View Terrace. Mountain View Terrace. Mountain View Terrace. I used to go camping there when I was a kid. I know exactly where that is. Put the map away. We don't need sure? it. No, let's go. Turn the siren on. And the lights. Let's go. Oh boy, we went to a rescue just like the real paramedics. Buddy, I thought so. You've got my sunglasses on. You give me those back. We gotta stow them. Let's see how the real paramedics do it. There are all kinds of rescue vehicles. The kind we see most often are ambulances. They can look like big boxes on wheels or even like vans. Wow, 
look at this, a brand new ambulance. You know, ambulances come in all different shapes and sizes. Some look like vans, others like, well, big boxes. That's what this is called, a box ambulance or a modular ambulance. And it's got all the latest gadgets like flashing red lights that move in funny ways and big sirens that go whoa, 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 whoa. Now, when you see a, or hear an ambulance coming, you know that the law says that you have to pull off to the right of the road and stop and let the emergency vehicle come through and get to the emergency so they can save lives. All the special life-saving equipment is located back here in the big box. Let's take a look. Oh, hi, Dave. Look at all this neat stuff I found in here, like this oxygen mask. Now, if you're injured, this is where they put you inside of the ambulance. It's like a thin bed, and it's called a gurney, and it has fold-out wheels so they can easily wheel you into the hospital. This is where the paramedics sit, along with one of your family members. And if you're lucky, they may even have a stuffed animal that you can cuddle. The cockpit of an ambulance looks a lot like the cockpit of an airplane. They have a lot of things in common, like these headphones that you wear. Because sometimes when the sirens are blaring, woo, 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 and the lights are turning, it's too noisy to communicate or hear the radio, so you have to use these. There are two radios located up here, so you can talk back and forth to base. And also this unit, which is called an MDT, a mobile data terminal. And on this unit, the address appears of the emergency location. And that uh, tells you where to go and also allows the base to keep track of where you are on your way. Pretty neat. Here's one of the most important pieces of equipment in the ambulance. It's a defibrillator, and it's used to, uh, to restart the heart in, in case of a heart attack or something like that. It also uses its, uh, its sensors as a monitor to send the vital signs back to the hospital through a radio located in the, in the ambulance so the doctors there can give the paramedics advice on what to do in case of emergencies. Here's how it works. Let's go over to our simulated heart attack victim. One of these pads would go here, the other one would go here, and then the, the charge would be put through the body, like this, boom, boom, and that would start the heart. Start the heart. Becky, are you okay? Maybe I better really turn it on. Don't you dare. <laughs> Just... oh. oh, look at these guys. These, these are the real paramedics. I get it, yeah. Oh, they're unhooking the, 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 the gurney. There it comes. Oh, did you see the way it unfolded there? I just got to shut this door and I'll go help them. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I hurt my finger. Oh, hey, guys, look at what I did. I shut my finger in the door. Wait a minute. What are you What are you doing? I'm not, I'm not hurt that bad. I, I don't really have to go to the hospital. You're strapping me in. Oh, that's so I don't flop around on the baggy ammies. I, I really don't want to go. I, I, I'm not hurt that bad. I don't have to go to the hospital, do I? Oh, come on, guys. I just hurt my finger. That's all. I know you're just doing your job, but uh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Hi, my name's Jim. I'm a paramedic with the Los Angeles City Fire Department. If you want to become a paramedic, you need to do these things. First, you need to stay in school. Get your high school education, then go on to paramedic training. That takes about two years. The best thing about being a paramedic is not only do you make good money in doing it, but you get to save lives also. Hey, look at this. No, it's not from outer space. Those are searchlights on another kind of rescue vehicle. It's an urban search and rescue unit. It's used mainly for rescuing people who are trapped in buildings or cave-ins. Inside these compartments are all kinds of tools. Things for cutting and baskets for hauling people. The trailer is a big motor with an air compressor. It squeezes the air so that it can be used to power tools like this great big saw. Meanwhile, back in Rescue Unit 69. You don't have your seatbelt on. Dave, your seatbelt. Hurry, put it on. You're going too fast. Wait, Everybody wait, should wait. always wear seatbelts. Right, keep your eyes on the road, sure. please. Please watch what you're doing. Oh, wait. I won't Dave. tangled up. Dave. Oh, Dave. Oh, oh, goodness. Are you all right? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, let me see. Oh, oh, my broken. gosh. Okay, keep your eye on the road. Let me get a split. Quick and fix it. It hurts. Whoa. Oh, Gotta get the, the seatbelt hooked up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. watch the road, watch the road. I'll get this. Hurry, man. Baby, I can't know exactly what, what she's doing. What is this doing. thing? It's, it's a splint. Here, just watch the road. Ow. Goodness. Hold on, hold on. Hurry up. I know, I know, I know. It hurts. Okay, okay, that's good. Perfect. That's good. Ow. Sorry, sorry. Watch the road, watch the road. Will you get in the back, please? Okay. I'm trying to drive this thing. Are you sure you know where we're going? Right up that way. Okay. Get in the back. Just get... Oh. 
accidents can happen in all sizes, small, big, and real big. Rescuers need just the right size equipment to match the size of the rescue. Really big jobs call for the heavy rescue equipment. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know what that is, Becky? Mm -hmm. That's an emergency heavy-duty rescue truck. I just call it the Big HR. The Big HR. <laughs> well, it can lift everything from people to cars to trucks. <laughs> That's right. Paramedic Dave. Hey. How you doing? Good. And Paramedic Becky, I'm Firefighter Tony. Hi. And I'm here to show you our heavy rescue truck. Great. Uh, would you like to learn how to operate our Jaws of Life? And Becky, would you like to learn how to operate our winch unit? Operate, operate the, the rescue, rescue truck! truck. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> Let's go! All right, well, I got my safety gear on. I'm ready to try out the jaws of life. We've all heard about them. They're used to cut people out of cars if they've been in car accidents so they can be taken to the hospital and worked on. Here's what they look like, and here's how they work. There's a pump in the truck that pumps liquid under all kinds of pressure, 5,000 pounds of pressure. It's squeezed together in these tubes. And then when you touch this switch here, it lets that liquid flow through here and open and close the jaws. This is like a big pair of pliers. It can pry things apart or it can squeeze things together. And here's another kind over here. This is like a big pair of scissors or wire cutters. And it works the same way. When you push the button, the liquid is released through here, and it squeezes these things here together, and you can cut through just about anything. Let's try it out. Good job, huh? Our main job is physical rescues with freeway traffic accidents, building collapses, confined space rescues, trench rescues, uh, cliff rescues, and anything that might pertain to any type of heavy rescue. This unit is so big that it can lift a big semi truck. In fact, there's even been times where we've had to lift elephants and horses off cliffs, off freeways, anything that is heavy, we can do. Okay, Becky, here we go. We've got five controls here that operate. This one rotates the boom. We have one that extends the boom and retracts it. The other one lifts it up. And the two red ones are for the cables to move them in and out. So how would you like to go ahead and we'll rotate the boom around and bring it to the back side? That, that's the gray one over there. Yeah. Okay, Becky, now that you got that all down, I got something else for you. Oh boy. I have a remote control here. It'll do everything that you just did there 500 feet away from the rig. You play with that while I go put my equipment away, okay? Okay, great. All right. Wait, 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 what's that? Oh, oh, what, what, wait, what's going on here? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hey, wait, hey, Becky, 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 you pull me down, you pull me down. <laughs> Becky, you pull me down, you pull me down right now. Help, help, Becky, 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 I'm going to get you. Meanwhile, back in Rescue Unit 69, things weren't going so well. Hey, it must be the next block. Hey, Dave. Um, look. look at this. What's this going there? in here for? Oh. I can't figure it out. Dave. Dave. What? Dave, what? look at what? this. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, they're bleeding. I think you oh, cut oh, me. Wait, 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 wait. I know exactly what to do. For your information, Keep Becky. On it. Keep your pressure on it. For your information, that's a fire extinguisher, and all vehicles should Can have one in case there's a fire, especially an ambulance. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. What are you Get doing? Get pressure what, on it. What are you doing? and watch the road. I am trying to watch okay. the road, but I can't see okay. anything with your hands up there. Okay. Now, will you please? I'm going to stand Just back. get in the back of the ambulance and let me drive, please. People need to be rescued almost everywhere, even at the beach. And here, you definitely have to have just the right kind of equipment. Oh, 
boy. This is another very special kind of rescue vehicle. <laughs> This is a lifeguard rescue vehicle. It's a very important job. They have saving lives on the beach. That's oh, right. there you are. Their job is to patrol the beaches and watch the waters to make sure that you're safe. They use all kinds of specialized equipment. And of course, they have to wear big hats to keep themselves safe from the sun and zinc oxide <laughs> on their nose. <laughs> so come Let's on. Let's go. A lot of people have to be rescued at the beach because they forget the most important rule of all. And that is, if you don't know how to swim, then you shouldn't ever go in the water. Not even a little bit. Hi, I'm Robin Bregman. I'm with the San Diego Lifeguard Service. First thing we do when we come to the beach, kids, we always want to ask the lifeguard where the safest spots to swim are and where the dangerous areas are. On all our beaches, we always have rip currents. Rip currents are caused by deep holes in the sand change in the bottom depths, the water will come in and they'll funnel out through the deep spots. That creates dangerous currents and you'll be unable to touch the bottom and you'll find yourself being pulled out. It's real important to swim with the current. Don't swim directly against it. If you swim against the current, it's like swimming up a river. You'll use all your energy and you'll end up going nowhere and then you'll panic and you'll get in trouble. It's real important if you need help to swim sideways with the beach along with the current and make sure that if you need help from the lifeguards, you put your hand in the air straight up and in a waving manner. All lifeguards know that that means someone's in distress. This is our number one piece of rescue equipment. It's our rescue buoy. You can float three or four victims on it at once. We bring our fins with us all the time to swim because the currents are so strong. All right, you two, you're going to be working Tower 11 today. It's our busiest tower in Mission Beach. I want you guys to be aggressive. I want you to work as a team. I want you to save lives. And here's your equipment. Here's your radio. Okay. Here's your fins. All right. Good you, luck. You Great. can count on us. Sir. Okay, yes, I know can. we can. Right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yep, I'm a lifeguard now. Yes, <laughs> Yes, I am. Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> That's pretty much fun. <gasps> uh -oh. oh, look! Look! What? See that? There's something thrashing around out there. No, I don't see anything. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go rescue. Wait, oh, I do. I, I gotta do a rescue. Wait, hold on. You know oh. what they say? They say, when in doubt, doubt, go, go out. out. <laughs> I'm lifeguard Dave. I'm gonna do a rescue. That's give right. me my stuff. Oh, oh, sorry. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me my stuff. Oh, I gotta get my stuff. Get. I'm, I'm out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. Ow, ooh, ow, ow. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 boy. Here I go. Get down to the water. Oh, it's hard to walk on these, these, these fans. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Here we go. Almost to the water. Here we go. Just put it down. Put it down. Put it in the water. Oh, gonna get my uh, my, my floater on. There we go. There we go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Straight down over the waves. Here we go. Paddle, 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 paddle. Oh, I'm almost there. Almost there. Oh, here comes another wave. Oh, boy. Here comes another one. A bigger one. Whoa. Paddle, 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 paddle. Got to get there. Got to get there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's a big wave. Whoa. Oh, I think I'm almost there. Where's that person now that I saw flopping around? Where is he? Over here? Over there? I, I don't see him anywhere. I don't see him anywhere. Whoa. Why, I'm all covered in seaweed. That's a, everybody's laughing at me. Get away from me. Take that. 
Oh, oh, boy, I, I can't believe this, how embarrassing this is. My first job out of the lifeguard. Oh, oh, they're all laughing at me. Oh, oh. trouble in the ocean, nobody laughs. Lifeguards have to have the right equipment and training to save lives. In the surf, they use inflatable boats like these to get through the big waves. This is a hovercraft. It rides over the ocean on a cushion of air. They can go over the water and right up on the land. Hovercraft can go where other vehicles can't, and they can carry the big, heavy rescue vehicles, even fire trucks, to every kind of emergency. Meanwhile, back in Rescue Unit 69, Buddy, help me out here. I think I'm lost. I know it's here somewhere, that street that I used to be. Okay, Dave, now don't get mad, but I'm following procedure. You are injured, and I need to wrap your head. What are you doing? Well, I'm just following procedure. Becky, what are you doing? You have an injury. Keep your eye on the road to your head. I don't. So I'll have to tie this off. What are you doing? And make sure it's on there tightly. I don't know what you're doing. Well? I'm trying to drive here. How am I supposed to drive with this thing on my there head? Here we go. Listen, I think that we should go over practicing our procedures. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, uh, what do we do if uh, if someone's unconscious? Un unconscious, you uh, uh, CPR, you uh, you thump on the chest 25 times and then then uh, ventilate them. 25 four times. times? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I read it in the book. I read it in the book. It's uh, five times and breathe once. Five times, bring one. Oh, and also we can use an ambu bag. Once, you put this ambu bag over this. You can prove her nose and just speak like this. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. What is that stuff? We need some oxygen. Here, 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 just keep your eye on the road. Daddy, what? Breathe slow. No, 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 There you go. There you go. Please. And stay back there while I drive. You know what these are. They are helicopters. They come in all shapes and sizes, too. They make great rescue vehicles because they can fly and hover over places where other vehicles just can't go. My favorite rescue vehicle of all of them. It's a rescue helicopter. And it's a very important rescue vehicle because it can get into places that no other rescue vehicles can go. And it's really neat inside. Come on along, we'll take a look around. Inside a rescue helicopter, you'll find a lot of the same items you find in an ambulance. You know what this is, because we talked about it before. It's a defibrillator. This is the biocom unit, the radio unit that transmits the medical signals back to the hospital so the doctor can give advice to the paramedics. This is all the, uh, the medical supplies, and here is where the paramedic usually sits. Over here is where the patient goes. And up there is the most important part of the rescue helicopter, the pilot. Meet Pilot Phil. Hi kids, that's right, my name is Pilot Phil and I do fly this helicopter. We call it an air ambulance. And not only can it carry 15 people, we can carry two patients and a crew of four if we had to. We can fly up into a canyon, lower a hook down, pick that person up if they're stuck, bring them back in the helicopter, and fly them to the hospital. We can land in the middle of the street and, and pick up people and fly them into the hospital. Hey, what do you say we go for a ride? <laughs> yeah, let's go. 6751 Louise Avenue for an air ambulance. The most important thing to a successful rescue is teamwork. Everybody is trained for a very special job. The pilots and crew stay with the helicopter at all times, so it's always ready for an emergency. When an emergency comes in, the crew starts the helicopter. The paramedics are called, and they come prepared with just the right kind of equipment for each rescue.
American Rescue Unit 69, things were going from bad to worse. We can't possibly rescue somebody if we can't even find them. <laughs> this has been a terrible day. I think I've got a broken arm. We don't know where we are. Oh, my head hurts. We don't know where we're going. I can't see out of my right eye. We're oh lost, God. Dave. We are lost, we are Becky. Lost. <laughs> What's that? What does that sound? A oh thumping no. sound. Sounds like a flat tire. tire. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna pull over. Here. I'll get out and check the tires. You drop. Okay, good idea. Maybe call in and check with the base and see if we can get some help. Okay. Well, that one seems to be okay. Gosh, I, I can't figure out what's going on here. Huh? All right. It's your tail. Hey, Dave, don't worry, it's Buddy's tail. Dave? Hello, this is a rescue ambulance 69. This is paramedic Becky. Uh, paramedic Dave is uh, tumbled. He's fallen down a hill and we need some help. Paramedic Becky, you mean to tell me Dave's hurt? Okay, we'll send you another unit. Oh. Okay, great, thanks. Hold on, Dave. I'm oh. coming. I'm not hurt. I just got my foot stuck. I can't get off this cliff. Help, Becky. Hang on. Just a few minutes. Can you can get here as fast as you can, please? Get that. We need to hook it onto the other eye of the truck. And then we'll be ready to commence the operation. That's all right. Prepare to lower. Okay, Dave, here we come. Here, here, here they come with a basket. Uh, first, got to get through all that brush. And, of course, i got to be careful not to fall themselves. Help! down to me now they're, they're they're really professionals i can see that i i, I think i'm in good hands uh, oh boy I, I i sure should have been more careful i i i, I don't know what happened i i'm sure glad that these professionals are coming to get me they got the ropes out and, okay they're finally here now you want me to get in the basket i huh? just just get over crawl over here into the basket i, I guess i could do that I, I i'm not really hurt guys i just i'm, I'm really okay i could probably Probably walk up if you just if you just know. Well, I got to get in the basket. Huh? I got I got to got to get in the basket. Now you're not going to strap me in, are you? I, I, I really don't like to be strapped in. No, 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 you are going to strap me in. Okay, well I, I, I guess that's okay. I, I, As the uh, as the as the fire truck backs up and it pulls the rope and, and pulls me up the hill, that, that, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys be careful not to drop me now. You know, I know you got me strapped in here, but I, I'm afraid of heights. I really am afraid of heights. And you, be, be, be careful pulling those ropes down. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, this is a steep hill. This is really steep. I'm going to slip right out of here if I'm not careful. I'm, I'm really glad you guys strapped me in here now. You know, I don't know what training paid off. Hang on. Just a few minutes. Thanks you made it, Dave. It was tough. Buddy's here to war. Welcome you back. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, Dave, are you all right? Look, buddy, I am he's okay. fine. Will you please stop touching me? Every time you touch me, something goes wrong. Well, I just know you down the hill. Here, I am fine. 
But I shouldn't have done that. And you shouldn't have honked the horn. But I was trying to tell you that we didn't have a flat tire. No. Oh, well, partner, I, I know you didn't mean anything, and I shouldn't have yelled at you. You're the, the best friend a guy could have. <laughs> well, that was really fun. Yeah. I'm not really hurt at all. That was just a simulation to show how they do it in a real emergency. Good sport, Dave. Ouch. Oh, sorry. Well, we hope you've had a lot of fun learning about rescue vehicles and the men and women who operate them. If you'd like to learn more, you can always visit your local library. Don't forget, they're highly trained individuals, and they're there for you. If you're ever in an emergency situation, just call 911, but only in a real emergency. Unit 69. Rescue, rescue Ambulance 69. 69. That's, that's us. us. See you next time. Here we Come go on. again. Bye-bye.